Today, I want to talk to you about the Cyathium, a type of inflorescence characteristic of the plant family Euphorbiaceae, commonly referred to as Spurges. With over 7,000 species, this family is quite diverse and includes herbs, shrubs, small trees, succulents, and some even look like cacti. To examine Euphorbia's special type of inflorescence, we are going to take poinsettias as an example. In their native habitat of dry tropical forests in Mexico and Guatemala, they grow as shrubs or small trees, but you most likely think of them as potted plants sold in stores and garden centers during the holiday season. As one of the symbols of Christmas, poinsettias are used abundantly for decorations around this time of year. And because many of you might have a poinsettia at home, now is a great opportunity to look closer and explore their unique flower structure. When you learn the basic flower characteristics in our example, you can then apply this knowledge to other members of the Euphorbiaceae family. First, let's locate the flowers. Poinsettias are valued for their showy red bracts, or modified leaves, that often get confused with flowers. There are many plants whose bracts act as false flowers, but that's a topic for another video. To find the true flowers, we have to look in the middle of those bracts. See these structures? Each one of these structures is an inflorescence, a cluster of individual flowers. As mentioned before, in the case of the poinsettia, we call this type of inflorescence a cyathium. So what are you seeing with our poinsettia is multiple cyathia. We are going to isolate one cyathium to examine its parts. Notice that when you break off a piece of the plant, milky white latex flows at the side of the break. Contrary to popular belief, latex of poinsettias is not highly toxic to people or animals, but it can still give you a rash, so you might want to wear a pair of rubber gloves as a precaution. Probably the most noticeable part of the flower that you can see is these vivid yellow structures looking like a pair of lips. You might even see some shiny liquid inside. These are nectar glands and the liquid inside is nectar. Their bright color and the sweet nectar attract insects, which help pollinate the flowers. The cup-shaped structure around the flowers is an involucre that consists of modified leaves, in this case fused together. It might be hard to see, but if we cut open the involucre, we can tell there are five bracts that are fused together. To give you an idea of how this structure looks in other plants, think of Centauria or a daisy, both belonging to the family Asteraceae. The bracts of their involucres look like scales arranged in rows. Ok, back to our poinsettia. There are several little red filaments with yellow tips peeking out of the cyathium. These are male or staminate flowers. Each stamen consists of a filament with a bilobed enter on the top. And in some flowers you can even see pollen grains on the top. Even though the cyathium consists of many male flowers, there is only one female flower, right in the center. Most of the time though, the male and female flowers appear at different times, and that's why you might not see female flowers on your poinsettia. Female flowers usually come up after the male flowers mature and start to wither. I found only one plant in the garden center that had a female flower present. But I'm curious, can you see any female flowers on your poinsettia plant? The female, or staminate flower, is much larger than the male flowers. It protrudes up from the center of the involucre, surrounded by many male flowers. It has a showy, divided stigma. And as it extends and comes out of the involucre, you can clearly see the inflated, maturing ovary. Here are some photos of female flowers in other species of Euphorbias, where you can see the structure better. And that's it! 
the morphology of the poinsettia cyathium. Let's recap. In poinsettias, the flowers can be found in the center of red bracts. There are multiple inflorescences at the tip of each stem, called cyathia. Each cyathium consists of cup-shaped involucre with many male flowers and a single female flower. And those yellow lip-like attachments on the side are nectar glands with nectar inside. Have you learned something new? What other unusual flower structures are you interested in? Let me know in the comments below and if you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.